top five NFL rosters, excluding the quarterback. So take the quarterback out of this discussion. Uh, we both have our own top fives here. And now I, I did this the same way as I did it last year. I go through PFF, and what they do is they kind of rank the units. Oh, that's right. I remember. They go, you know, hey, who's got the number one offensive line unit? And so I just went through, and they do it for defensive backs. And so I kind of use that as my guide here. Yeah. Um, and I follow them. I, I tweaked it a little bit, but I, they do a good job with looking at some of the analytics and some of the numbers. So I thought maybe that would give us a little different top five here. Oh, good. But then when I got done, I was like, I think it's going to be exactly the same. The same. <laughs> um, so uh, let's go five. Let's go five to one. It's like. It's don't cheat and look at my sheet there. I, I haven't seen your I, sheet. Five is the one I'm least confident about. Like I can tell you that my top four, like I was like, boom, 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 boom. Those are the top four. And then for number five, there's seven teams that could be number five, right? At least I got seven that like I wrote down like, uh, 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 uh. Do we right. want to do the honorable mentions, the teams that you were considering that you left off? I almost want to start. I was Just tempted did. to start at the top at one. Oh, okay. Oh, I think, right. I think we can go there. Okay, that's and a good call. And then we have more healthy conversations You're as right, we go by. You're right, we're probably going to be pretty similar at the top here. I mean, do you have the Eagles as one? I actually don't have the Eagles as one. <laughs> okay. But okay. I have your number two as number one, I'm sure. Yeah, you have the 49ers. Correct. Okay, yes. all right. So we're there. That, and I have no problem with that. I, I, to me, I, I think those are the two best rosters in the sport. I don't, I don't, I'm not doubting that at all. I put the Eagles as one. You know, the Eagles, I think what put the Eagles over the top for me is – it's just like, okay, the running back's not as good. Yeah. Quarterback, I'm going to give the edge to the Eagles, well, of no, course. Well, no, but you, you know, this but is not, it, I'm not quarterback. It, I know. It's not so, quarterback. Okay, all right. All right. So I'll to wipe them out. O-line, I'm going to give the edge to the Eagles, even though it's a really good O-line with the 49ers. D-line, damn, it's, it's a tight one. But because of the depth the Eagles have, I gave them the advantage a little bit. Linebackers, I'd give the Niners. Corners, I'm going to give to the, the Eagles. Safeties, I'm going to give Niners. Both have a tremendous duo at receiver. I'm going to give the Eagles the advantage of A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, even though, listen, you know I love Debo, Samuel, and yeah. Ayuk. Yeah. Right? I'll give Kittle the advantage at tight end, but still it's not like it's like, you know, a chump change with Dallas Goddard at tight end for Philly. So, yeah, Philly is going to get it. Uh, the number one seed for me with the 49ers being number two. So PFF has like the Eagles linebackers unit ranked 31st out Whoa. of 32 yeah. teams. I, I can see that. They have the running backs at 22nd out uh, of 32 well, teams. We, we said that. We knew that was the running back was the weak link last year and linebackers what they lost in the offseason. Yeah, it, it's a question. And so if I went straight just by PFF's ranking of the units here, they would be basically fourth right now on uh, of all the rosters, excluding the quarterback. But part of me is like, okay, they've built that team to a point where you're so strong defensively on the line and in the secondary that, yeah, linebackers isn't as crucial for them. Same thing with running backs for them. They're going to be able to run the ball. They're going to get a ton of yards running. They're going to be one of the best rushing teams in football because of what they've That's built where it's around. Hard to hurt. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's where it's hard to hurt the overall. Yeah, I know the middle of their defense, safety and middle linebacker are going to be a little bit of an issue. But, you know, not so much to where I'm not making them number one or number two roster in football. And, yeah, to your point, when you have a bunch of 340 unbelievable freaking nature defensive tackles, it, it's not as necessary to have stars at some of those other positions right up the middle. Right, right. So it right. covers for it. So we agreed on our top two teams, just the order was different. Yeah. You have Eagles 49ers. I have 49ers Eagles. So the linebacker thing – Put it over the edge for you. Uh, wh what else? What, any, what else? PFF say about the Niners? Anything that was exciting there? Excuse me. I mean, they have him as the having the number one running back unit. Yeah. Number four in receivers, so you know, top five there. Right. They had him. Yeah, two at defensive line. They had him one at linebacker, and yeah. they had him nine at the secondary. So yeah. all top ten units. Right. Uh, number one at linebacker. So I just it was close. Yeah, of course it is. It's just, I, I mean, these are these are two. St these are two teams we talked about last year. These were the two best rosters in football last year. It's just like, were they good enough to overcome the lesser rosters of the Chiefs, the Bengals, and the Bills, but they have the star quarterbacks that can like close those gaps? Mm -hmm. And as we saw, the Eagles couldn't overcome that with 15 in red there. All right, let's see if we agree on number three. Who you got number three? It's a mammal, and it swims in the ocean. Oh, Okay. 
A dolphin's a mammal, right? It is, right. Sharks are not mammals, Wow, Pete. okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going dolphins. Yeah. I'm going dolphins not, as not number surprised. three. Yeah. I mean, I'm interested to hear the PFF ranks. I know that they're not going to be totally aligned with... The, here would be the thing. The running back crew is pretty good. It's not great. O-line, we got some questions, but there's still potential there. It's not like where I look it up at the O-line and go, oh, they got no chance. They're screwed. No, they're one where we just go, can they make the next step? Can Austin Jackson get better? Eichenberg get better. Right. Right. So it's not like, oh, gosh, they're horrible, and I know they're horrible, and that's just the way it's going to be. The receiving core, I mean, insanity in the membranity, right? D-line. Insanity in the membranity. Yes. D tackle or edge guys. You know, middle linebacker, not perfect, but I like David Long. You know, I lo- Javon Holland is a superstar. You know, again, he's going to, his PFF ranking at safety is not going to be good because he gets to ask to do things that other safeties in football don't. And I think you couple that with their corners, with or without Jalen Ramsey. I'm counting with for right, ooh, excuse me, right now as I drool. Um, so, yeah, I'm making them my number three roster in the sport. So, PFF has offensively the line at 20th. Okay. So, a little below average. Okay. Running back group average, 17th. Wide receivers number three yeah. unit in football. Right. Uh, defensively good. Yeah, they got them the fourth best defensive line. Mid-pack and linebackers and then second in the secondary they yeah. have them. At. So, I had them at five. I put them fifth. Okay, but cool. they, they could have been higher. Um, for me there because, yeah, I've been talking up yeah, the Dolphins for a long not, time. You're not, I'm not saying I'm right there either. I mean, the O-line's a big question. You know, and this is where maybe I cheat a little bit on this thing because it's hard for me not to say the roster and think about the coaching a little, yeah. right? To where, like, yeah, like They're gonna their get O-line the most was 20th. Out of Mike yes. McDaniel knows how to hide the O-line. It's sure. not that big of a deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's where it's like, yeah, I want to dock them for the O-line, but at the same time, I'm like, it's not the end-all, be-all with them because of how they play the game, too. Right. So maybe I don't dock them enough. I don't, I don't know. But that, that's where it's tough in this drill a little bit when you when you break it down. Right. So Dolphins 5 for me, 3 for me is the Dallas Cowboys. Ooh. Are they in your top 5? They're, they're, in, they're one of these teams that I have written down in my they're running not in for my 5. five. Well, they're right there. I'm like I'm really l- leaving my right to reserve my last pick on number five here. <laughs> you haven't even decided uh, yet. Like not totally. I'm like eh, I'm wishy washy. So PFF has the Cowboys as having a top ten unit on the offense in all units. Offensive line, running backs, they have them at tenth right now. Yeah. Wide receiver, they're the sixth best unit. Uh, and then defensively, they got two other top ten units with the defensive line and. The secondary with yeah. the linebackers being about average yeah. for the Cowboys. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, it, I I get it. I I know. You know, the only thing we really complained about their roster last year was size in the middle of their defense. Remember? Sure. Yeah. It's the only thing we were asking about. Now they got Mozzie Smith, right? Mazie's yeah. Mozzie. Mozzie. Yeah. Mozzie Blue. <laughs> right. Mozzie Blue. But um, yeah, th- that's they're they're very talented, and they have difference makers and big people on the O line that are real. You know, Tony Pollard's health, of course, is a big part of this conversation. But, yeah, that, like, we'll see. I might pick him as five. I'm okay. not sure. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk it out live when we do it, when we right, get so, to five. So four is easy for you. Four is easy for me. Four, I'm staying right here in the tri-state. I'm going with the mother I E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Sure. I am. Receiving core, damn good. Tight ends, I think, will impress people this year. Not saying it's, wow. O-line, hey, it's a question. I get it. There is potential there. I know that. It's like what you just talked about with like the, the Dolphins. It's not a group where I go, oh, no, they have no chance. It's just not going to be good. It's because, no, there's some good. And then, yeah, we got to see how some things work out. So it's like, yeah, I'm not writing them off yet. Running back, I think we could you could argue it's the best running back room in the football. Uh, we hit the receivers. DBs. I think their DBs are insane. I, I would have a hard time coming up with the two corners and Whitehead at safety out of the four secondary guys you have. I've put that three at a four almost against anybody. Linebackers are insanity. And then where it puts me over the top and maybe where I'm a little bit of a sucker, and as you could tell by my first four teams here, yeah, I'm a sucker for defensive lines. When you have a defensive line that's that talented and that deep, 
that affects the whole team and the roster. So I'm a little bit of a hoarder of yeah. defensive linemen. Yeah. And when you have a secondary that also doesn't even need a defensive that's line like I mean. that, it's right. just like that's an embarrassment of riches. I was kind of surprised that PFF was a little – they had the Jets mid-pack, okay. actually. Offensively, okay. they had offensive line below average. Yeah. They had their wide receivers, actually, as below average, 20th mm. in I'm, the NFL. I'm surprised by that, with that group that they got there. You know, I, I don't know – you know, again, I think that's can be all a little predicated on total offense sometimes. That's yeah. where – like, hey, if they can't – if they're not protected, if Zach Wilson's not protected or he's making dumb decisions or he's not protected, yeah, the receivers, you're not going to get to see what they can do on a regular basis. Garrett Wilson, we expect explosion. Corey Davis is going to be better than what he ex- than what we've seen because it's because of Rodgers and that effect. And then you throw on, you know, uh, Lazard and McCole Hardman. Yeah, I'm 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 a believer. And the O line to me, it, it's 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 really about Makai Becton. Yeah, right. Like you've you've heard me talk. Like one Tipman at center. All right, um, Elijah Vera Tucker at one tackle, or guard, excuse me. Um, Max Mitchell could be the other tackle, and then Dwayne Brown and Rakai Becton. I'm missing the guard. I'm blanking out on his name, but either way. But I, it's not a bad group. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, there, there's potential for them to be a top 10-ish type offensive line. Yeah. So we'll see where that goes. My number four team to complete my top five. So I went 49ers, Eagles, Cowboys, Dolphins at five. My number four, the Baltimore Ravens, Mm. Baltimore Ravens at number four. Yeah. Uh, You look at on the offensive side, you know, they offensive line. Good. You can make an argument top five, right? And then top 10 ish with, you know, running backs, wide receivers, some skilled players. They've leveled up there. And then defensively, I mean, you could make an argument. They're top five in linebackers and secondary. Yeah, you can. I I know. You know, it it's it's um they're one of these teams I, I have written down be. here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one I I think the thing is receivers, it's like we're talking about with some of the other teams. Like we think it's going to be good. It's got a potential maybe to be great, right? Yeah. If Bateman's healthy, Zay Flowers, everything we've seen or hear whatever, OBJ, we know Andrews is going to be good. You said it, O-line's real. Running back, I think that's a legitimate question right now. Sure. Right? If they're all healthy and everything's J.K. Dobbins hitting on all stuff, st- yeah, yeah it's, it's a good group. I'm putting Lamar Jackson as a running back. Oh, so you I'm are? Cheating. How dare yeah, you? So How I got him you? in as the quarterback by cheating. The safeties are, I would argue, maybe the best duo in football or about to be in that combo. Corners, you know, hey, we talked about that other corner position, something we need to see a little bit more, right? But Marlon Humphrey's the man. Middle linebacker, you said it. The duo's unreal. Now the D line is where I would. That's where I question Baltimore. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just to go like, who's the play guy? You know, who is the standout D lineman? You heard me say last or two weeks ago, like when we had to pick a player to watch, right? I picked Odafi away. And, you know, I was like, man, who's going to show up rushing the passer? They just signed Jadeveon Clowney because obviously they're concerned about it a little bit. So uh, they are in the running here for me. So I'm Eagles, 49ers, Dolphins, Jets is my top four. Yep. And let me hear your tops again. 49ers, Eagles, Cowboys, Ravens, Dolphins. All right. 49ers, Eagles, Cowboys, Ravens, Dolphins. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is where I the fifth one. Here's the teams that I wrote out. Okay. Here, these are the teams that the Chiefs, the Bengals, the Jags, and the Cowboys were the first four where I was like, hmm. And then the Ravens, Chargers, and Seahawks were another group that I went, mm, I got to throw them in here and think about this a little too. Your bias of uh, you're holding that defensive line against the Ravens, like you said. But, I, I mean, that makes sense, though. That's I, such a huge I am. efficiency. Things can fall apart if you can't get to the quarterback. It, it is, and, and maybe I'm wrong too. Again, you know, they, they, they can do it other ways where they can blitz and do things, and that's where, that's where football's great. That's where coaches can make up for yeah. things that are holes in the roster, and that's what makes like, whoa, this team was better, but they lost to this team? How did that happen? Right. Well, that f- really smart he exposed something about that other team so like I I'm I'm the really I think when I look at it I want to go Bengals Jags or Cowboys right that's really where I want to go and I when I start to narrow it down to because the Chiefs are I think are right there on the edge I think I end up starting to want to go Bengals or Cowboys 
And I think I'm going to join you in the Cowboy conversation. Okay. I think I'm going to make them number five when it's all said and done. There's just too many guys. There's only, like I said, one thing I question, and that's just the interior D line a little bit. Is like, is there enough big people to clog up some running lanes? And I think that'll be answered this year with Mozzie Smith, like we talked about. But it, it, it's tight there. It is because I think their O line's a little bit overrated. All right, I think the receivers are a hair overrated, right? And I guess that's where yeah. I look at their little bit of a deficiency. I love their corners. I love their pass rushers, right? Offense, you like everything. It's funny, though. I don't know if I love anything, right? I want more from Dak. I want more from CD. Yeah. We got Brandon Cooks. Let's see what he's got, you know? Uh, so Can Tony Pollard be the guy? Uh, yeah. Is he going to be healthy in 100%? You know, when's that going to come along? All that. So those are the yeah. things I kind of like went back and forth with in that one. We're a little too similar. I'm a little upset by that, but that's okay. Uh, Pete notes here, interesting that the AFC has the top six quarterbacks per your top 40 quarterback countdown list, but the NFC has the consensus two best rosters without quarterbacks. I, you know, we've been saying that. That's what was kind of cool about last year. We were kind of saying it's going to be like the, this team with the quarterback and then these really unbelievable constructed total football teams yeah. in the NFC. And that's what you got a little bit. Yeah. I mean, what was it? Eight out of my top 10 were AFC quarterbacks in my quarterback ranking. Right. You know, but yeah, when you talk about Eagles, 49ers and Cowboys, there's just, there's no team that they're going to play in football that they can't physically match up with in any versatility way there. So that's what I think uh, I put. But the Bengals, too, are, are very Bengals close are to close. this. They were in my consideration. They were like, if I had 6 through 10, Bengals would be in there. I'd want to see the Bengals' old line get a little bit better. But they're in one where you go, the potential's there. We know the receivers are insane. The yeah. running back, is it's worthy of questioning now. I know Mixon is still really good. But, you know, how good? We're getting to the point of the career, right? You know, I love their corners, but if I was going to be realistic, they're still unproven. I can't put my man DJ Turner as a top corner in football quite yeah. yet, right? Yeah. You know, as much as I like the way he looks and all that, they got two new safeties in the back end. You know, the linebackers are severely underrated in Pratt and Wilson. They're damn good. You know, their D line is good too. It's starting to get depth and talent. Yeah. And that's where so that's where they were in the running. And I don't think we can forget about the Chiefs in this conversation. Chiefs are honorable mention for they, me. They for have sure. to be. You know, the O line, I think, you know, is some new parts there. So we're looking at that. Of course, receiver, there's some new parts. So I think that hurts it a little too. Corners and young there, and they're gonna have to rely on some, you know, uh, a replacement for Juan Thornhill, right? Uh, like they're right there. They're right there. And it, there was a part of me that was going to make them five, like I told you. When I first wrote down my list, they were five. Yeah. And then I kind of dug into it, and I was like, oh, man, I don't know. Like, hold on. The Bengals got some advantages over them. And I was like, man, what about the Jags? The Jags. But the Jags, I still think, are a little too much, like, yeah. potential-oriented. Then you were like, the Cowboys have Micah Parsons. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Case closed. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. I also had the Chargers I in there. I did, too, yeah. I had the Broncos in there. I think the Broncos, what they've done on the offensive line and beefing up that weakness and the secondary is good for them. I, I hear they got you. some elite I and above you. average units. So I didn't have the Broncos, but I had the Seahawks maybe in that place. Yeah. The Seahawks are the team I put there. One team we might be sleeping on. Yeah. Roster wise. Right. The Browns. Yeah. I know. Because I had them up there last year. I know. The Browns have, have some stuff there for sure. I think the, the thing with the Browns, you know. Hey, we know O line's good. I think D line front seven is minus Miles Garrett is a question though, and and you know me uh, that I'm big on that. Obviously, yeah. You know, li you know D line linebackers to me that's where Cleveland. I need to see more from that group, and they got to be a little bit more dominant for me to throw them in in that conversation. And even the safety department, they got two good corners, but you know safety's another one where I'd go. I don't know what that's going to look like this year. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it. As always, the NFL season is right around the corner, so now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims Unbutton. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here, Chris Sims Unbutton. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.